Yes. A lot of people know you. They know you from San Diego because you have a few restaurants in San Diego, and we are in one of your restaurants today, yes. Sears Soccer. Sears Soccer. We're going to talk about that a little later. And uh, they also know you because you're on TV, right? Yes. You started on Top Chef. Uh, back in the day, I was on Top Chef. I did uh, shows all on TLC, and now I have a number one hit um, it's a Fire Pep show in the afternoon. Now we want to go back to your roots, your, your chef, your professional chef, you want to create, you want to curl the to study and uh, now you have a few restaurant and your restaurant is here soccer where I have dined and the decor is insane, I love the decor. Uh, tell me why it is so successful, it's where you get the gas in the street and yes. they go in, it's always packed. And always I want to know why it's always packed. Uh, well, one really good point is that it has a great location. We're on Fifth and Market. It's in the center of the gas lamp. Uh, it's energetic. We've got the, got the convention center right down the street. I'm still living off the love and fame of Top Chef. People are so into that show and they travel around. They want to go to the, you know, if you're in D.C., you go see Spike. If you're in, you know, Atlanta, you go see Richard Blaze. And it's just kind of fun like that. So it's really generated a lot of buzz. Um, but what it is, is we just kind of made kind of a, uh, a, we call it social dining, a fun atmosphere where you come in, you sit on the couches, you have some drinks, you meet up with your friends, you go to a table, some people come, some people go, there's lots of small bites, even entrees are meant to be shared, everyone's having a good time, it's a broad menu that reaches a lot, you know, but everything kind of Americana with a nice little twist, um, it, it, it's, it's accessible, and the fact that it's called Sears Sucker, has the name Suck in the middle of it, it's, it's named after the summer suit that you can wear to the Kentucky Derby, um, kind of tongue in cheek, always having fun, and that's one of our best dishes, tongue in cheek. Um, it's just playful. People want to go someplace where they don't feel like it's, it's over their head, it's not too much, it's this. And then people stay late for the evening and they enjoy the great music. We have DJs on the weekends, really big bar, great, great cocktails, um, and fun service, it's relaxed, with tablecloths, with candles, it's just a place to come in, come in early and stay late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a good, there's a good chunk of staple dishes, and there's a bunch of dishes that change all the time, also. 
And we have the, we let the young sous chefs kind of play with dishes also. So every meal the service will like have something to talk about. This is fun. Like you gotta check out this. And what's going on? And you know we have great cocktail. We have a great cocktail program here. The mixologists are always making something new, and they're very seasonal, very hip to what's going on. Educating people about tequilas, the vodkas, the wines. You know we use all local craft beer. So we're really proud, proud of our local beer scene here in San Diego. Um, so it's a lot of fun. And now it's just got such a buzz on it. It's just kind of hard to get a reservation. <laughs> Can I call you for more? <laughs> Anytime. Of course. Well, now let's watch what uh, comes out of the kitchen then. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Thank you.